you guys, like I'm a regular here, so most of you guys know me? Yeah. 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 yeah! No! The ones that don't, it's because I showered. I usually look a lot more dirty. I, I showered today, you know, and, uh, and I haven't gotten hit on once tonight. It's ridiculous, you know? Usually, I, re I realize I used to take care of myself. <laughs> Not anymore. I used to take care of myself. I used to, like, get haircuts and like use deodorant and shit and then once I stopped giving a shit I used to I get so much more pussy now it's ridiculous it's ridiculous you ladies have low standards like I'm, I'm fending women off with a stick now I'm like leave me alone leave me alone I'm thinking of starting a homeless seminar <laughs> telling homeless people how to get laid I'm like well if I can do it you can too come on come on you just need to try some more I'll have a homeless seminar again every all the homeless people that like stumble in because I'll have like free heroin as like a little thing. Free heroin, I'll come in, I'll be like, you guys can also get laid too, like me. All you need is to not give a shit. You need a house? Oh wait, shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you guys can get your change refund at the front. Whatever, I don't know, I don't know. But I, I do, I do, I get, I get hooked up with the ladies a lot. One time, it was about a year ago, I hooked up with this girl that really turned me off one night stands. I hooked up with her two times and she perioded on my mattress both times. It was sad. I know, I know, that's what I said too. I was like, oh, come on, come on, you know? And it was like two non-consecutive occasions. It was ridiculous. She called me up like a couple months ago. I'm like, well, bitch, why are you calling me? My sheets can take it. I can wash my sheets, but my mattress is ruined. She ruined my mattress. It was ridiculous. And I was about to move in with my girlfriend, like, not too long after this. And she's like, you should probably keep that mattress. We can put it in the spare bedroom in case my parents come to stay. Like, All right, uh, you know, and then we're moving the shit. And I don't know, how do you explain that to your girlfriend? Because it was like two months, it was a month after, so one was more brown, the other one was a bit more red and shit. Like, how do you explain that to your girlfriend? I'm like, ah, oh, no, you know, like I was just doing laundry, and I was drinking red wine, and had some chocolate pudding, and the shit spilled. Like, what do you, what do you want from me, you know? But I told her the truth, because I'm, I'm a nice guy, I told her the truth, I was like, yo, this bitch perioded all over my shit, and I told her the truth. And she was cool about it. I know, you're like, ugh. Uh, I know, I know. I was like that too. I was like, seriously? Seriously? I'm talking about it and you're offended. This actually happened to me. <laughs> it was horrible. But I, like, you know, my girlfriend was very cool about it. She just wanted a period all over it even more. So it was more prevalent and shit. She didn't even want to have sex on her period. She just wanted a period all over it. Just like, yeah. Look at me in the eye. Like, yeah. That bitch meant nothing to you, yeah! It's ridiculous, it's fucking horrible. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. Um, have you ever got a lotto ticket for a gift? Anyone ever got a lotto ticket? Yeah, you're like, yeah, so you have a lot of people that don't like you either? Is that not the shittiest gift you can get in the world? It's just like, yeah, I spent two dollars for you to throw this out later. I spent two dollars for you to get excited and be disappointed. Enjoy. I fucking hate you. I'm making you go out of your way so you can be like, look at this guy, he's just following the Jameson. <laughs> Yeah, but it's ridiculous, man. Like, it's fucking you horrible. Know where that myth has been? Yeah, no, it's been on a lot of periods. <laughs> a lot of periods. Like, the vacuum didn't work, so I was like... Oh! Oh! Boo! 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 I know how to deal with periods. I'm a man! I suck that shit up! <laughs> no, but it's serious, like it's horrible. That's a worst gift ever. Like here's a here's a fucking lotto gift. Luckily I have a cocaine addiction, so I use that little receipt to roll out and do a lot. I'm like, fuck you, fuck you, I showed you. Your two dollars went to waste, my nose did not. It was ridiculous. Actually last Christmas, my grandma she gave me a she gave me a, a scratch ticket for Christmas. 
but it was already scratched. Like, what the fuck is that? That's some horrible shit. And that's just a joke. That's just a joke. Because she's slowly dying. She's very sick. She's very, very sick. No, no, that's just a joke. She's dead. She died. She died a long time ago. It was ridiculous. And I know she died because she died. And uh, I was at the funeral. I was at the funeral. I'm like, oh, she's dead. Holy fuck. And then I really hit me. Like, I, it didn't hit me that she was dead until one time I was masturbating in my father's upstairs living room. You know, like, because we had the basement downstairs that we just jerk off. Me and my brother just jerk off. Like, yeah, it's our basement. This is amazing. But, you know, we went upstairs to jerk off every now and then because they had the good cable. My pops had the good cable upstairs. And they called fucking Murphy Brown. It was amazing. And she, she hung up, like, a, my dead grandma's, like, portrait. Like, right in front of the TV as well. Like, what the fuck is that? So I was, like, masturbating. I'm like, yeah, this is good. And then I glanced up. I'm like, holy shit. That's my dead grandmother. <laughs> and she's, like, looking down at me, like, mm. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, this is awkward, but uh, like you know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go back down to my non-cable downstairs. I gotta get this good cable jerk out. And I was just kept looking up. I'm like, ah, oh, this doesn't seem good. This doesn't seem right. Uh, but my grandma was dope. Like when she was alive, obviously she was really dope, and she was very encouraging. So like I was just <laughs> masturbating, and I just like heard her voice through the picture. And she's like, you're doing it all wrong, son. You're doing it all wrong. You need to you need to elevate your neck. Put some pillows underneath your neck, you know? You gotta, if the blood all goes to your head, you'll pass out and you won't even be able to come. That'll be so embarrassing, you know? I'm like, that's good. Like, putting pillows underneath. I kept jerking. And she's like, you also need to... You, what are you doing there? You don't even have a blanket around you, you know? Like, you're just jerking off on pillows, like, on the couch. Like, you're just jerking off. When your father comes home and just sees your dick out like that. He'll be so embarrassed. You need to have a blanket in case you need, you need to pull it over. You need to pull over your cock in case your father comes home. Like, my grandma was amazing. She gave amazing jerk-off advice. And, like, it was weird. It was really weird, the jerk-off, but it was the best cum I've ever had in my life. It was the best jerk-off ever because I am turned on by knowledge. That's what I like. <laughs> my name's Morgan. I'll share everybody. Enjoy the rest of the night.